the weather is quite pleasant today. Yes, I have. And I am about to discuss the menu with Ephraim. Mother, you just don't worry. I am going to assist you fully in carrying out this task. Mother, where's my breakfast? It's not on the dining table. I was waiting for you to get up. I can make it right now for you. There's no need for it now. A lot of time will get wasted. I will get going and play my video games. You always waste your time in playing video games. Do something constructive. That is the only thing that appeals me, Father. I'll start in the evening. We seriously need to do something to change his arrogant behavior. Life management is not about busyness. It is about productiveness and effectiveness. Major on the major things in life, not the minors. Why haven't you cleaned my room yet? It's all dirty and messy. I will do it after I get done with these preparations, which Madam had asked me to do for dinner. No, just leave everything at first clean my room. Why don't you understand? He is quite younger than I am. I have served him since he was a child in every possible way. Still, he does not respect me. Surah Nisa, Ayah number 36. Worship Allah and associate nothing with him. And to parents, do good. And to relatives, orphans, the needy, the near neighbors, the neighbors farther away, the companion at your side, the traveler and the slave your right hand possess. Indeed, Allah does not like those who are self-deluding and boastful. Assalamu alaikum Abdullah. How are you? I was planning to come to your house. I'm going to come to your house in a few minutes and decide what are you going to play. Okay, I love this. Son, I want to have a word with you. Come and sit. My dear son, do you know that when someone is praying, you shouldn't disturb that person because one can pray in concentration, in silence. Please, grandfather, I was not disturbing you. I was just talking to my friend over the phone. Yes, you were talking, but you were talking in a loud voice. Which was breaking my concentration. You should have focused on me yourself. I'm going to my friend's house to play. Why are you only seen playing? You should be studying well as the accents are near. I will study when I get free from his house. Oh Allah, bless his heart with kindness. Jareer bin Abdullah narrated, Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah will not show mercy to him who does not show mercy to others. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, Abdullah, my friend? I am fine. Why have you come so late? Oh, my grandfather found out I was talking to you and was going to come to your house. So he started advising me that I should not waste any time and start studying. Oh, my family also advises me the same all the time. But why don't they understand that we need enjoyment also? Exactly, that's my point. But forget it. By the way, what are you going to play? You know, nothing appeals me more than playing video games. Same here. But my father always criticizes me for playing them. They don't know how much video games help us in sharpening our minds. Even the textbook don't help us this much. I always feel sleepy when I open the textbooks to study. God knows how people come to learn time by heart. We should always study near the exams, grab the necessary material and get the passing marks. I completely agree with you. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, father, I'm going to come home sometime. Allah is. What happened? See, I told you, they're always behind me. Calling me home now. I must leave a tail call again. I'll see you in the playground tomorrow evening. Okay, my friend. Okay, my friend. I will see you in the playground tomorrow. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was reportedly asked, Which of our companions are the best? He replied, One whose appearance reminds you of Allah, whose speech increases you in knowledge, and whose actions remind you of the hereafter. Please check who's on the door. 
Who is on the door? It is Ahmad's friend family. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to our house. Our house. Feel yourself at home. Come and sit. How are you? I am also good. How are you? I am good. I was telling kids in the morning about the pleasant change in weather. Alhamdulillah, we got blessed with rain. Yes, absolutely. It was dusty everywhere. Now it is quite better. Have you checked in spring collection this season? No, not yet. But I am planning about it. Do take me along and go shopping. Sure. Where is Hamad? We haven't seen him since we came here. He just came from his friend's home. He is in his room. Let me call him. Hamad, open the door. Is there anyone generous enough to feed this weather? Why do you people always come to disturb us? Don't you have anything else to do? Just even don't come disturbing us again and again. Please don't treat me rudely. I just requested you to feed me something. I told you to leave. Don't get stuck at the doorstep. Go and do something else. Allah has blessed him with everything except for kindness. What could a poor brother say to a boy like him? May Allah help him to change himself. Those who spend their wealth in the way of Allah and do not follow up the spending by stressing their benevolence and causing hurt will fight their rewards secured with their Lord. They have no cause for fear and grief. I just can't believe it that you were this much rude with your servant and then beggars. What are you talking about? When did I get you? I was just trying to be realistic. There is a difference between being realistic and humiliating the people whom you think are inferior to you, but they are not. What's the big deal, my friend? If you don't remain stern with them, they get onto a nerd. A woman who made you so severe like an undelivery hood. You should be thankful to Allah and be polite with them. It is up to Allah whom He blesses with everything and from whom it is everything back. Oh, so you see something special in me. Don't be mistaken about it to Allah, the most, the most special is the one who fears him, who fears him the most and treats people kindly. So mend your work before the time you start painting about your actions. Oh Allah, please forgive me for my deeds. I shall be nice from now onwards. I will be among the one who fear you and treat your people kindly. We are so grateful to you for making him realize the importance of kindness. It was my responsibility as a friend. <laughs> if you have kindness in your heart, you offer acts of kindness to touch the hearts of others wherever you go. Whether they are random or planned, kindness becomes a way of life. Thank, Thank you all.